Hello, hello and welcome to the channel. Well today's that lovely day where we get to anti-foul the boat. So effectively, this is our anti-fouling here. And what it does is it stops weeds and barnacles and general sea life growing on the underside of the boat. So you can see it runs the whole way down the boat, right the way underneath, all the way down here. It sits about waterline level, which hopefully is about here. So we've got to start by cleaning the waterline level off here. And then the boat yard, when they lifted the boat out, pressure washed the hull. And you can see where the strops were that lifted the boat out. So I've just got to rub those down, get them back to this, clean the waterline off. Also, there are some patches here. You can see a couple of them there. There's a bigger one over here there when I had the boat surveyed the surveyor scraped the anti-fouling off so he could put his meter on to check the water level of seepage into the hull so I've got to rub those back down again you can see here there's the algae where the strop went and lifted the boat out all around the side here and then the back another one here look and all of this section here and you can see the outdrive leg has gone off for service. For the sake of it, I think I'm also going to anti-foul my trim tabs. So they're gonna be the same color as here. I, won't, I don't think I'll do the, the rams. And I also, at some point, as you can see here, need to change the anodes. So these are sacrificial anodes. So the idea is they rot before the trim tab starts to rot. Right, I'm gonna do it as a time-lapse photography thing. Otherwise, it's just going to be very, very tedious. I'm going to be here pretty much the whole day. So I'm going to do it as a bit of a time-lapse photography so you can see what it looks like when it's finished. And also, here is the other anode. I don't know how well you can see in there, but that little thing on the end there is an anode, another sacrificial anode, so that's... Sorry about the seagull. So this sacrificial anode is designed to rot before the little drive rots for the bow thrust and you can see how close I fit it is when it's spinning around in there incredible so that needs changing as well and we'll do that at a later date and there's a video on my channel as well if you want to see how they fitted the bow thruster what a fabulous job they made of the fiberglass right so I'm going to set the camera up for time lapse start rubbing it down and catch up with you in a moment use the wipes to wipe the water line down. The other thing is because there's so much grime above the line here I'm going to raise my anti-fouling a little bit because I think the boat's sitting lower in the water than it's designed to be from an anti-fouling perspective. So I'm going to tape it about here somewhere and put a little bit of extra anti-fouling. And because of that, I'm going to need to key this little row in here just so the anti-fouling sticks to it. Now I'm just going to run across the bootstrap line, the boot line here, whatever you call it, the water line, with a bit of thinness to get off all the muck. So one, the masking tape stick, sticks, and two, the anti-fouling will uh, have a clean surface to adhere to. I'm now going to mask along the line here so I don't anti foul any higher than I want to. this bit's really important. It's important that we leave a line around the outdrive between the anti-fouling and the outdrive. Simple reason is there's copper in the anti-fouling 
and we don't want to earth it or connect it to the out drive. So we're going to put a bit of tape around here, as you can see, so that the anti fouling doesn't catch up or touch up on the uh, out drive. So, got my roller, got my tray, got my gloves because it's pretty evil stuff. And we are You're using organized. Hempel Tiger Extra. Any real reason I'm using that is because it's it's already on there at the moment. So let's give it a go and see how we get on. So there we go, we now have a completely grey hull. Beautifully painted underneath, though I say myself. Right there up to the bow. I've got to get a little paint brush and finish off in the bow thruster. There you go, all the way along, inside the little steps of the hull, so that bit there, and that one going under there, and for the sake of it, if you've ever wondered, when we're going along, this little paddle wheel here, well you can see that there, spins round, to tell you how fast the boat's going, that's a water intake, So that's the water in for the loo, it's the water out for the loo, and this one here, that's the echo sounder, so it sends a frequency beam down to the bottom of the seabed, it bounces back up and it tells you how deep it is. So the last thing I've got to do is peel off the masking tape, otherwise it'll leave the glue on the boat, and we're done. Go nice clean line. Ooh. And effectively the same under here, look. You get the idea, so there we are. One beautifully anti foul boat, though I say myself. Thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.